It's just a fantastic display piece. I wish I could just have that hanging up above right in front of me. I think that's probably my favorite build of all time. Welcome everyone to Talkin' Brick, our brand new series on the channel where every week I'm going to be doing a Q&A for questions from you guys about various topics that I cover on the channel like Lego Star Wars, Halo Mega, and everything else. Question number one comes from Go Check Yourself. It says, what's the coolest modification addition to a set you've ever done? I don't know if I've done necessarily modifications to set, I like to keep them pure, but the best custom that I've ever done is a custom Mac Cannon from Halo Reach. It is by far my favorite build that I've ever done. It was finally when I had enough pieces from Mega to make something really cool, and it turned out super, super nicely. It's definitely a little fragile, but it would be something awesome that I wish Mega could make in their own set. Our question number two comes from a commentator, and it says, what's your favorite Lego set and clone trooper? My favorite Lego set of all time, I think is the UCS Star Destroyer. It's such a good looking Star Destroyer, and it's a huge, massive build. I think they did everything they could to make it amazing. Obviously, there's no interior stuff like that, but I don't think it necessarily needed it. It's just a fantastic display piece. I wish I could just have that hanging up above right in front of me. I think that's probably my favorite build of all time. As far as clone troopers go, I have to pick Commander Cody, especially the Commander Cody, the phase one. He's just been my favorite clone trooper period throughout all of Star Wars. I love seeing him in the Clone Wars. He's just such an awesome clone. He's a great commander, leader. Um, too bad he's, you know, a bad guy, but who knows? Maybe he'll see redemption arc in the Bad Batch, hopefully. But yeah, he, Commander Cody is definitely my favorite clone and the phase one clone trooper from the 2008 gunship. Uh, that has Commander Cody in it is my favorite. Our next comment is from Arbiter Productions and it says, what's your thought on the current state of Halo Mega? I'm also gonna be combining this question with another question that says, what can Mega do to increase distribution and make things a little bit better? So I think both of these questions kind of go hand in hand as the state of Halo Mega in general right now and how we can improve moving forward to hopefully get these sets out. And I think the first thing comes from 343 and the makers of Halo. Let's be honest, 343 has completely botched the Halo franchise in a whole number of ways. They've done some great things and I wanna say there are developers there and amazing people who work tirelessly at Halo, but it's more so the upper management and people who are making the higher level decisions that are changing Halo from what it was with Halo 3, 2, and 1, and Halo Reach, to now with Halo 4, 5, and Halo Infinite that just have no sort of correlation between the three. They don't really make a sensible, clear story. And that to me right there is the reason that Halo Mega is currently on a decline. Halo just isn't doing what they should be doing to cater to the fans who actually care about Halo, which are those fans who love the old games. Not only are Halo Mega toys being taken off shelves, but also just Halo toys in general. They're not as popular anymore and they're being botched because of 343 Industries. As far as things that Mega can do, right now I feel like nostalgia is a pretty heavy contender here and could help Mega a ton. A lot of people don't have nostalgia for Halo 4, 5, and it's probably not infinite either. And I think that they should lean away from sets that include those figures. Obviously, those are still having a place in Halo Mega, and I'm not saying that they shouldn't be included at all. But Halo CE, Halo 2, and Halo 3 specifically are sets with figures long overdue for makes. And it's clear that those sets are probably going to be more profitable in the future. Think about things like Lego Star Wars, how they're making sets like this. This obviously isn't something from a brand new era of Star Wars. This is an old era of Star Wars. This is from the first ever episode, and yet people are gonna absolutely love this set for the build itself, but also the minifigure too. There are things that I think Halo Mega sells really well, like these figs I have in front of me, or like blind bags. Those things sell like crazy, but there's always a couple left in the box that nobody wants. And I think Mega needs to stop doing that. As far as things we can do to help the Mega Halo fan base and to maybe get higher levels of distribution, we just gotta shop with our wallets. I also think Mega could do a much, much better job at marketing. Our next question comes from the kid who reviews who asked, what's your favorite Covenant slash Banished set? This one's interesting because the Scarab is obviously the thing that comes to mind most. It's huge, it looks amazing, it's a great set piece. But I think my favorite Covenant set is the Phantom. It's a set that literally has never been made since its conception, I think in 2011 or 2012. It definitely needs a remake, but that's my favorite set of all time from the Covenant. At least for now, I might switch to the Scarab eventually. Our next question comes from Jaker Ginger Hoffman who asks what my dream Halo set would be. And honestly, my dream Halo set would be one that sells. Really though, I think my dream Halo set would be a Covenant Cruiser. Mega just seems to ignore Covenant all the time and I have no idea why because people love Covenant. 
But uh, yeah, that would be absolutely amazing. One that's a little bit larger scale, kind of like the UNSC Infinity, that would be spectacular. Uh, but right now we just don't have any of that. So hopefully they make that soon. And our final question is gonna be from Teary Eyed Stew. He asks, what's your favorite set ever from anything, anywhere? And uh, that's a really good question. I think my favorite set ever from anywhere is the 2008 Republic gunship. I know a lot of people think the 2013 version's better. It's not, but I personally just love that gunship because it reminds me so much of the Clone Wars and seeing that Clone Wars movie in theaters for the first time, it was just incredible. There's so much nostalgia for that set. I know it's not the best Lego set ever, but for me, it's my absolute favorite set. Don't forget to comment down below with the hashtag talking bricks. We can talk some more brick next week with your questions and I can answer them. For now, let's find some winners. It is officially time to announce the winners of our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. First, before we do that, I just want to thank you all so much for the comments, the subscriptions, for all the support. It has been hugely amazing to see all of those and to be able to read all of them. I very much appreciate the support, and there's plenty of giveaways and content coming in the near future, and so you won't want to miss those. So stay subscribed with those notifications on so you don't miss my next uploads and videos. I love making videos for you guys, and the content is just going to keep rolling, so stay tuned. But for now, we're going to announce these two winners for our giveaway the first one will get the choice between the clone battle pack or those blind bags and the second one will get whatever is not chosen so hopefully you win one of these and then if you don't hopefully you'll win one in the future for now let's fetch these comments and not include replies so we're just going to do base comments try to give everyone a fair chance at this no duplicates or anything like that so we got 119 comments and our first winner is going to be dominic philippi Dominic says, I've always liked the NMPD Pelican the most. It brings more components than just the Pelican itself in the landing pad and figures to give a flashback to the mission Skyline from ODST. A Halo game like no other Halo game. That is very true. That is honestly one of the best parts about the Pelican is it really does a great job at showing that mission from Halo 3 ODST, and that is a fantastic game. But congratulations to Dominic. You are officially the winner of our 100,000... 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I wish it was 100,000. But congratulations to Dominic. Um, I will be reaching out to you in the comments, so we'll make sure that you get picked as our first winner, and you'll get the choice between whatever you get, and we'll get that sent out to you. But we're not done yet. Our second winner will get whatever is not chosen, and we got 118 comments left. Our second winner is... New Era 6954, and they say the NMPD Pelican is their favorite too. Look at that. I guess the NMPD Pelican's the winner for today. The color scheme, the landing pad, give the leading edge for me over the new one. Unfortunately, I have neither, and the NMPD Pelican reaches extremely high prices. That is very true. It is unfortunate how high the price has gotten on that one, but you definitely, you gotta grab that new Pelican, man. Now's, now's your chance. It's, uh, it's going away soon, I think, and it's on sale on Amazon, so grab it away. But those are our two winners for this 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I want to thank you all so much again. Don't forget to comment down below your talking brick for next week. We're going to do this Q&A same as before, and I'll make sure to look at all of those amazing comments. But thank you to these two. I'll make sure to reach out to you both, and congratulations for now. That's going to be Mr. Woody signing off. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace.